Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best budget headphones in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To find out more information about these budget headphones, you can check out the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. At number 5, it's the Kos KSC75. Searching for a pair of headphones is always pretty difficult while trying to find a balance between sound, comfort, features, functionality and price. However, if you're shopping in the budget range, this is even more difficult. If you want to get the most affordable headphones in the market that still deliver some level of quality, sound, durability and more, you have to check out the Kos KSC75. Besides being extremely affordable, the Kos KSC75s deliver excellent value for their price in terms of sound quality, comfort and durability. So without further ado, let's take a closer look. Kos has delivered some interesting value-based models throughout the years, however their KSC35 was a large hit in terms of build quality and comfort, and to make things even better, the company took the design and improved it with the Kos KSC75. These headphones come as individual over-the-ear clip-on headphones, which look very dated and fragile, however that's just the way they look. Since the body of the device comes with a grey metallic finish on its hardened plastic, and the part that sits on your ear is a wire coated with soft rubber, allowing you to customise the fit on each ear individually, resulting in a super comfortable package. While we're at it, I should state that the foam pads on the device are super comfortable, but cheap looking. I can say that in general the aesthetics of the device have improved, but I wouldn't say that they're aesthetically pleasing as a whole. I wouldn't consider them if it was just for their design, but for their purpose, they're excellent, such as outdoor and leisure, and they're pretty good for a pair of workout headphones as well. But I couldn't be more wrong, as everything was up to standard. The mids were also quite detailed, especially when it comes to stringed instruments and vocals, which made everything super clear and exceptional. I can comfortably say that these headphones are the best you can get for the price, just excellent. At number 4, it's the Audio-Technica ATH S200 BTBK. Audio-Technica has managed to always deliver some of the best sounding headphones in the market, and the Audio-Technica ATH S200 BTBKs are some of the best in their budget range. Besides being an affordable set of cans, the Audio-Technica ATH S200 BTBKs have a pretty decent sound. They're wireless, come with great battery life, a nice design and tons of value for the price. While I can comfortably say that the Audio-Technica ATH S200 BTBKs are designed to be more functional than stylish, they look pretty good in my opinion, despite rocking an all-plastic build except on the headband extender. The plastic looks pretty good in my opinion, as do the ear cups which rock a circular design with the Audio-Technica logo on the outer parts. I should state that the cans also feel pretty solid in the hands, unlike most of the headphones with a plastic build. These are solid and sturdy. The Audio-Technica ATH S200 BTBKs are pretty comfortable as well, coming in with their thickly padded ear cups, and you can wear them for a long time, well at least for an on-ear model. The headband has a nice stretch and softness to it as well, and everything feels pretty much right with the device. However, I should say that the headphones feel a little too tight on the head, thanks to the clamping force that offers good sound isolation, but the 190 gram weight negates it to some level. The battery life of the Audio-Technica ATH S200 BTBK is pretty much excellent as it managed to survive about 40 hours of playback time and the wireless performance is great as well without any disadvantages, something the company is proud of. If you want a pair of headphones that will enhance the sound, this might not be for you. This will deliver the exact quality and you'll have to choose your tracks more carefully to get the most out of them. These are the best wireless pair of headphones in the budget price range. At number 3, it's the Creative Orvana Live. Next up, I have an interesting pair of headphones that are super versatile and attractive for a wide range of users, the Creative Orvana Live. The company might not be a household name, however in a few years it will be, and this model will deliver the most value for their price. It's also pretty well designed, comfortable, has great sound quality and many more features that will make these your favourites. In terms of looks and aesthetics, the creative Orvana Live has a good thing going on here, with a classy vibe thanks to its glossy black and dark chrome body. However, it feels a little flimsy due to that design choice. I don't think that they'll break down anytime soon, but just in case, be a little more careful with these headphones. The creative Orvana Live comes with a 4-foot cable with a 3.5mm plug, and you get a 5-foot extension cable with a 3.5mm to 6.3mm adapter for listening to music with different devices. 
I have to say at first that these headphones weigh just 200 grams in total, meaning they're super light and they feel pretty good on the head thanks to the padded headband, which does the job despite being small. I can say that the PU leather padded ear cups are super soft and feel comfortable on the ears. Also, I noticed that the size was also pretty good. Nothing bad to note about the design and build of these cans, just excellent. For its performance, the Creative Orvana Live utilizes a biocellulose diaphragm and 40mm neodymium magnets on each ear cup to deliver exceptional sound quality. Since we're at it, I should state that these sound just perfect, and when you consider that they're very affordable, I'm even more impressed with the claim. They're just excellent in every way. There are no weak points in the sound department. The bass is good and punchy, a bit tight though, with great mids rocking some naturality, a nice enhanced treble, and overall, one of the most impressive all-rounder packages in sound quality. While these are not the most advanced cans in the market, they are the best general purpose headphones, delivering great performance for every user, definitely worth a try. At number two, it's the Audio-Technica ATH M30X. If you're looking for the most sound quality and performance for your price, I suggest you try the audiophile grade Audio-Technica ATH M30X headphones. This company, like I mentioned earlier, has been delivering the most impressive headphones in the market, and these are no different, delivering a critical listening experience and flat response to the budget range. While they aren't the best commuter headphones in the market, if you're concerned mostly with sound and performance aspect, you can't go wrong with these. When you take a look at the design of the Audio-Technica ATH M30X, they rock the same design as the whole ATH M series, which is pretty simplistic and a bit industrial, and for other companies it would be a bad thing. However, in Audio-Technica's case, it's acceptable. The design is very simple and functional, with a great frame that extends to fit flush on your head, and the all-black plastic design doesn't encourage confidence, but it's superb in terms of durability and sturdiness, which will last you a long time. In terms of comforts and ergonomics, the Audio-Technica ATH M30X fits great on the head, thanks to its amazing padding designed to deliver tons of comfort. The ear cups are pretty good as well, as they can be rotated up to 90 degrees horizontally and 15 vertically, so you can transport them without any difficulty. And overall, I can say there's no discomfort with these headphones. The Audio-Technica ATH M30s are packed with a pair of 14mm drivers that deliver a whopping frequency range spanning from 15Hz to 22kHz at 96 decibels and an impedance of 47 ohms. These headphones don't have a detachable cable that might be a con for some people since the attached cable is super sturdy, heavy and about 10 feet long, but it will last you a lifetime. In this budget, nothing can deliver better clarity and critical listening experience, just amazing in every way. The Audio-Technica ATH M30Xs knock it out of the ballpark. And at number one, it's the Sony MDR-V6. At the top of the list, we have a pair of headphones that were designed and were in production from the mid-80s, the Sony MDR-V6. These headphones were initially released in 1985 and were designed as monitoring, critical listening, studio and home headphones for the masses. And surprisingly, they still deliver amazing performance 35 years later for all the aforementioned purposes. Simply the best headphones for the price in the market and it doesn't get better than this. Since their introduction, the Sony MDR V6 haven't changed even one bit rocking their 80s vibes that you'll develop a love or hate relationship with, but I have nothing but praise for them. These cans rock the retro design so well with the great studio and radio room design of the ear cups and tons of leather on the headband to deliver support and quality. They also have studio monitor written on them, so if you aren't planning to go on your daily commute with these, I think they're perfect. I'm a great fan of the combination of the two designs in these headphones, an over-ear design that delivers tons of comfort and support, and the on-ear design that's responsible for delivering isolation and seal in terms of sound. These deliver both, like I said, without any excess pressure on the head. I have to say that these come with a non-detachable cable like the aforementioned Audio-Technica headphones. These come with a meter-long coiled cable that extends up to 3 meters in total. When it comes to sound quality, the Sony MDR-V6 is just outstanding. And to explain it, I can say that the soundscape is balanced, natural, but with hints of excitement in it. I can say that the performance is good enough to be versatile for various purposes, such as music, gaming, films and even critical listening. While the sound is not warm like most headphones in the market, it is great, with tons of tempo and precision. The definite best budget headphones, you can't get anything better than this. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. 
If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.